So I did have a night where my mind really started to spiral. If my diet wasn't good this week, it would have been way worse. I would have been way more stressed out. <laughs> Today I thought it would be fun to do a whole video talking about what to eat to improve your mental health. For me personally, depression runs in my family, especially during this time of year. That shiny bastard decides he doesn't want to come out anymore. Um, you know, I start to feel sad, you know? It's been really bad. Um, I've gotten pizza two days in a row. I've been going to Starbucks every day. I've been eating pretty much exclusively frozen food. I could be doing a lot better. <laughs> Groceries that I picked up are actually based on a Mediterranean diet and what's inspired me is actually a study called the smiles trials but basically in her study that's been replicated this Mediterranean diet really helps people with depression some of the key takeaways are really gonna be reducing processed foods of course sugars and white bread I personally would recommend also not cooking with a lot of oils like canola oil instead of all that crap start to include more fruits and vegetables in your diet go for whole grains also legumes. You might be wondering what the heck a legume is. That's going to be your red kidney beans, chickpeas, black beans, pinto beans. It's also recommended to have fish in your diet as well. Includes a lot of nuts and seeds and all that good stuff. No stems, no seeds, just peanuts here. Of course, it's not going to be super authentic. Don't live in Italy or one of those fabulous places. I'm here in the States where they put whatever, you know, the manufacturers want to put in food. Um, but here I am, trying. My delivery is gonna be here in a few hours, so I wanted to get my little <laughs> uh, fridge ready. As you can see, look, oh wow, I literally have nothing in here. And I like to check the dates. I, I've gotten food poisoning before. You know what, this is a story to tell, hold on. Let me tell the story. So I went with my grandmother and we went to Marie Callender's and I got this quiche and it was so good. It was so good. Just had little bits of meat in it. It was cheesy. Oh, amazing, right? Well, I had forgotten about it. This is when I was still working at eBay and um, it was in the back of my car and I thought, oh, yeah, I'll just pop it in the microwave. It'll kill the germs. I am a moron. I don't know. It was like some ergot wine or something. I swear I was like freaking tripping balls, doing some weird things to me after I ate it, okay? And um, you know what? It still tasted good. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna make it. So with that being said, I do not play games about, you know, eating food. Like if it's dropped on the floor, like, hey, you know, I might still eat it, but. <laughs> October 9th, we're gone. Good day, sir. Uh, you're pushing it. If you look up half the stuff that's in your house or things that you use, it's all freaking toxic, dude. It's so scary and sad and just makes me very worried. Now that I'm trying to be eco-friendly and everything, I am going to, where is it? Where were I? I would normally leave some all-purpose certified killer, but now that I'm a hippie and I don't do those things anymore, I'm gonna use vinegar. Vinegar to clean my fridge. <sighs> that way, when people come over, if I ever have a guest besides ghosts, they will be repulsed by the smell. And it'll be great, because then they won't try to eat my food. So, oh, I'm so organized. Now, if you're wondering why, if you're just a little curious why I deliver my little groceries, it has everything to do with the fact that I don't have a car right now. That's great, you know, I'm living the hippie lifestyle. Thanks to, you know, my engine blowing up. And it's kind of nice to have people just, you know, bring it to your door. Day's almost over and the detective called about my break-in <laughs> that happened last month. So, it's not the end of the world. You know, could be worse. Could have taken my organs. Without further ado, let me share with you what I got for my Mediterranean diet. I'm having to really weasel my way back into eating good, okay? And I don't really like the term eating good. I'm just saying not being a lazy shit, basically. Some butter for my cooking. I'm not gonna use any oils with this diet. It's really important to kind of cut that stuff out. Don't cook with anything crazy. And if you are going to use olive oil to cook, this isn't even the right one you would use for cooking. But I would recommend not baking with 
oil, <laughs> olive oil <laughs> with olive oil because it does go rancid and you don't want to do that you know don't do it going back though to breakfast i'm going to be doing eggs and a little hash brown this is going to get me really excited because i've gotten bored with eating eggs i would eat them almost every day i'm just like oh my god i'm so sick of these but if i put a little hash brown with it i'm already excited just thinking about it now my orange juice because you guys know how much i love orange juice a little mimosa then I got you Colt. This stuff is really great, guys, if um, you're having some stomach problems, digestive issues. So you might want to check this out. Um, it's really helped me out a lot. Love this. I'm going to try these supplements out. It's ashwagandha. This is great for, um, you know, sadness. So you might want to look into it. Sometime, I'm going to actually have to show you guys all my supplements in my cabinet. I could show you so many different drugs, I swear. I have so many <laughs> I do though. I, you know what? Maybe we'll go through my cabinet at a later time. Let me know in the comments if you want to do that. Uh, the springtime, I was on this whole kick where I was, you know, doing the little. Uh, this looks wrong. Sorry. Um, what do you call this? Juicing. Little. Two little things of celery and some cucumbers. If I want, I could put this in salad as well. For a snacky snack, I have some Greek yogurt, raspberries over here for another snack you know i got some nuts over here I have nutella if i get a sweet tooth this week which i probably will some avocados and then over here i'm gonna be splitting this with my pet echo my little rabbit that's running around somewhere most likely he's gonna eat this whole thing and then i'm not the hugest salad person so i'm gonna try to get myself back into it my little goat cheese and then i did buy some little cherry tomatoes and then we're going on to the dinner lunch menu so um lately to be honest i've been really bad i've been relying more i guess you could say on the snack and coffee that i have in the morning which i'll get later in the day to hold me off and then i'll have one meal and then i'll snack a little bit but it's just it's not it you know now they gave me the bigger size because i guess they ran out of the other one that i had ordered but that's fine i did get some salmon i love salmon the only thing is, is i have to make sure that i cook this on time and i just don't leave it in my fridge and forget about it i'm trying to stay away from having pepsi and red bull because i was on a whole kick of just drinking pepsi and red bull all the freaking time for the past three months and i'm really trying to not do that my friend tyler got me onto this if you're trying to just stop drinking soda just drink some sparkling water and then put it in a fancy glass like this i know my I, i've been tired okay like all this stuff is still laying out i'm just like over it last but not least i got my little sweet tooth in there i'm exhausted if you're wondering what coffee that i've been using on my little keurig it's this stuff it's cuban coffee i'm able to use the loose grounds because i got one of these fabulous little cuppy things the coffee that you make with the grounds is way better and when i changed the game up i saved money and it also tastes way better getting back on this diet was an eye-opening experience for me it's been three months straight of tv dinner so cooking again was just needless to say different even at 4 11 i know i don't have the hugest portion sizes because i'm basically a gnome i realize now that i was really lethargic from just not eating enough again this week wasn't perfect and uh, i totally forgot the legumes which was one of the most important things on the freaking chart but uh, alas but overall, I am so happy and proud of myself for getting back on track in a way that I know is going to continue to help me. Yeah, okay. I know I look different. It's because I put extensions in my hair. If you'd like to see this a little makeover that I did, you can go watch that. So with that being said, I want to take some time to focus on how this diet has really impacted me this week as far as depression goes. I did have some stressful events that happened this week which I kind of get into in the other video where I do my little makeover and everything. It kind of festered, I don't know how you'd explain it. So I had an old friend reach out that I haven't heard from in a while. They asked me if it was okay if they could hang out with this other friend of mine that I also haven't seen in a long time. But I mean, the only thing that they really have in common is that we kind of both had a falling out. So I mean, it was like a little weird because they only met once at my birthday, but I, I didn't really care. Um, but then like a few days later, that same friend that asked me if I'd be okay also told me, hey, don't feel offended. I'm taking pictures of us down or something like that. And I'm like, Miley, what's good? You know, um, again, I don't really personally care. I don't care what anybody does, but it almost feels like a subtweet. Um, but God bless. 
American Express. Do whatever you want. Don't ask me anything. I really don't care. Live your damn life. And then I had just a realization that somebody, I'm really in the mode where I'm looking for a person that's going to be a lifetime partner for me. I had some realization somebody that I was interested in is just no longer qualified for the job. So I did have a night where my mind really started to spiral. And so I kind of wanted to talk about this for a second because again, I feel if my diet wasn't good this week, it would have been way worse. I would have been way more stressed out. So I will say that I did feel a lot more chill with the ashwagandha. I really did. You take two of these a day for a full serving and I did rely on these pretty much every day of the week. And then when I had my really bad day where I just like, I couldn't sleep, I was really, really upset and, you know, just releasing a lot of emotions, I took some GABA. Now, for a period of time when I was extremely depressed back in the summer around my birthday, um, <laughs> it was a really bad time in my life, really, really bad. And um, not to get too much into detail, but... I just wasn't seeing a point to life anymore and I was extremely depressed and I did get through it and saw you know the end of the tunnel and everything and not the white light end of the tunnel but you know I was able to work through those emotions maybe a story for another time it's too serious on such a happy thankful day um, but these did help me out um, GABA at least the extra strength one that I got is very strong and so I was taking one of these a day for a while back in the summer and then I had one or two I think I did might have been one or two of these on the day where I was really starting to spiral few days ago and just getting really upset. It's very strong and you'll feel it. I feel like I'm taking something if I take this. It's like I could feel it in my veins. I could feel it in the way that I breathe and everything. It is pretty strong in my opinion. And um, to give you a little bit of background too, back when I was 18 or 19, I did take SSRI. So I was on, what was it? Celexa. And Unfortunately, when I was on antidepressants, I didn't personally feel a huge difference that was beneficial in my life. I did feel blunted emotions, but I didn't necessarily but I didn't necessarily feel just positive. I just felt blunted, and it was a very strange thing. But I would say that if you're going on a mental health journey, right now it's really a combination about your lifestyle habits and the beliefs that you have about yourself and every day it's going to be a new challenge really taking all these different approaches i love to use spirituality combine that with mindset and lifestyle in order to really help me progress in life and even though i know sometimes i'm going to get these really dark thoughts that are telling me that you know what i shouldn't be here and i have so many problems with other people people in my life hate me and all these negative things that I have about myself that have been historically things that I've thought about myself are things that I can manage and I can work with when I'm taking care of myself. So I hope this video helps you out. Uh, <laughs> let me know in the comments below what struck a chord with you. I'd love to hear it. If you're on your own journey, please tell me your story that you're comfortable sharing. I'd love to know where you're at. And I'd love to know your progress as well. So check back in with me on my website or on this video. Thank you again. This is a new channel, so I'd appreciate if you subscribed. And I also have a new video where I'm going to be sharing with you my little makeover and just overcoming my own emotions. But God bless. I hope that you have a great night. I hope you have a happy holidays, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Mwah. wanted to thank me for being a turkey. Absolutely.